series. We got we got a good one on our hands here. I'm excited. Should be our first close close match of the night. I well, actually I was gonna say that. That's not true. The last match was super close. But this is our first pro level series of the night. How about that? Spawning in the lower left hand corner of Royal Blood. We have one of those professionals. The Red Protoss doesn't have a team, doesn't need a team. It's classic. And his opponent in the upper right hand corner in the blue, representing Starlight Twinkle. It's nice. Nice, a uh, very, very strong Protoss. Once upon a time, played some really funky, weird styles. Has definitely given us some crazy games in the past. But I feel like more, more now than ever has been pretty standard lately. Classic is actually gonna be the bold one here. Very, very bold. Seeing no probe scout from Nice. Goes straight for the Nexus. Gate first on the high ground Nexus. Nice is sending the probe across now, but... There's going to be a very late scout and a very late discovery of this Nexus. But Nice could still do some real damage here, and I love it. Your Immediately drops a proxy pylon. That's beautiful. Just right in Classic's face. Classic with a very forward pylon here. In fact, I really don't like this pylon. What is this pylon doing? So this pylon is so far away from the Nexus that uh, it won't be fast warpins. I'm like almost positive. Yeah, there's no way this is fast warping. But I see. Classic wants forward shield batteries to stop this from happening. So we've got the Robo here. Probe is working on the pylon. Stalker is going to chase the probe away. Put down the second pylon. This first pylon is definitely going down. Kano wants Observer Plus next game. That'd be great. Nice is here with a couple of Stalkers, though. But this is what the shield battery of Classic is for. Oh my god, did that probe? That probe killed the the, uh, the pylon. And now these stalkers chasing after the stalker of Nice. Immortal is on the way. Another pylon is on the way. Chrono boost is pretty good. Oh, I like this. The stalker distracting. But you know what else is on the way? Classic's Immortal. Classic only on one gate, but has the second one finishing up. And this is looking very nice for Classic right now. Pulls back to the shield battery. I don't think he can overcharge from there. That might be more than eight range away. Ooh, he's got to back up. Loses his stalker. Classic's Immortal is coming down the ramp. He's going to lose that forward shield battery, but he's got the backup shield battery, and there is no shield battery here for Nice. Ooh, a little back and forth. But the shield battery are going to be so crucial. Healing up that Immortal to full shields right away. Second Immortal is about to pop for Nice. Classic, I think, needs to wait for this one to come down the ramp. Oh, just going to die for it. Triggers that shield. Oh, this is so spicy. Great target fire from Nice to try to take down Classic's Immortal. But there's two Immortals on both sides now. One Immortal goes down for Classic. But Nice is about to lose both Immortals. And that's going to be GG. Nice is forced to tap out. Classic baiting him into the aggression. Knowing he could hold a proxy robo. Uh, what a move. What a move. Honestly. Six City. Was that a bit close? Yeah, I would say that was close. What? 
What is happening? So we've now had two lobbies that we joined and left. Um, I would say that was close, but Classic was playing in, in a way that made me feel like he knew exactly what he had to do. And Classic's the kind of player that if he knows what he has to do, he can do it, right? If he knows, oh, if I do X, Y, and Z perfectly, I hold this. He's good enough to do it. Oh, I see. <laughs> We're trying to get the Observer Plus mod. Shout out to Classic. I wonder what what the correct response there from Nice would have been. I think a more conservative Protoss probably just expands, really. Like, I feel like if we saw, if we saw Classic in that position, say Estrella does that build or something. Uh, and Classic's in that position. I feel like Classic might just expand. I could also see uh, a Robo at home being better like build a prism and get the the units in that way i feel like that could be the stronger choice rather than um building the proxy robo but i feel like classic was expecting nice to just proxy the robo i mean obviously you saw that pylon but it just felt like classic was was ready for that i don't know i don't know what the right call there would be it's a tough one. I've been in that position in games before where my opponent does something greedy like that and I'm like, he wants me. He wants me to punish him. I know it. I can feel that if I try to punish, I will lose. He will defend. And it is usually what happens. Well, it looks like um, Hero took down Bad Boars and is now up against Mio. That should be a banger. Uh, I think either the Ducklings or Dave Testa and Flapjack will be covering that. Uh, perhaps both of them. Steadfast is covering... I think Steadfast is waiting for Gumiho DRG. Might be in... Oh, hold on. I might be in... Um, DRG's current match. I think that's what's happening. Uh, and then Dark. Dark's not currently in game, so I think Dark versus Silky might start up soon too. We're getting into game two. Sorry, Classic needed a minute. Um, but we're getting into game two now. Hopefully the other matches get covered. Silky's a fun player to watch. I feel like Dark versus Silky could be a fun one. Uh, Steadfast is waiting for DRG Gumiho. And I think he's casting DRG Rebellion right now. Hiro Mio is starting up. That's going to be on either the Ducklings or Dave Testa's channel or both. We'll see. And in the meantime, we're hopping into game two. 
of this fantabulous Protoss versus Protoss. Spawning in the upper left-hand corner of Gres Van in game two. We have the red Protoss classic. Holding that uh, one gate expand in spectacular style last game. Honestly, that did feel, I mentioned Astraea earlier, it feels kind of like an Astraea or a Max Pax thing to do. Is to like take the super greedy expansion and just kind of bait your opponent into aggression. His opponent was in fact baited a little bit into that proxy robo for Starlight Twinkle. It's nice. I also love the name Starlight Twinkle. Excellent, excellent team name. Nice going for, again, very standard opening. Last game was very standard, so that proxy. This time though, classic, not going for anything super bold. This is, the standy andy opening for both sides. Two gates on the high ground. Nice going for that late scout again. The late scout is very interesting to me. Because I feel like having the probe across the map early is, is really nice. There's a lot of weird PvP things that can happen that if your probe is laid across the map like this, you might be super duper late to respond. So like things like there could be a proxy pylon out on the map for classic, and this would have been enough time to build a third pylon back at home to full nice and still get a proxy going. You see how this third pylon is timed? If it was just a little earlier just to fool him, I feel like Classic could do something like that. There, there's always that kind of danger. The earlier you're across the map with your probe, the uh, the better, in my opinion. Just know what your opponent's doing. But it's gonna be a couple stalkers coming out. Looks like Nice might be going for something a little cheeky breaky down here with this probe. Classic seems to want to expand, and there's the expansion. Nice has a pylon on the low ground as well, but no probe down here just yet. Ooh, Classic gonna walk into a trap. Oh, that makes me miss trap. Well, this is pretty nice for nice. Trade one Stalker for one. Classic forced to run away with the second one. Uh, doesn't actually take any hull damage, though. So, you know what? That ends up being a completely even trade. That is wild. That Classic walked up that ramp, took the first couple of shots, and still made it be an even trade. Gets home to join up with Stalker friends, and Nice doesn't chase, though. But Nice does not have a base. Nice, in fact, has a blink on the way, being chronoed out, and a third gate. And it looks like this probe might be here to proxy, or just to die? I feel like a proxy pile in here would be good. Never mind. There it is. Didn't see it over in the corner of the map because it's already blue here. The proxy pylon and the proxy gate did go down. And now Classic needs to hold. Classic didn't get to see that this base wasn't here still. That's what the Stalkers were kind of trying to do. Classic's got his own blink on the way, but it is going to be quite a bit later than Nice's. And Nice is pushing across the map. Oop, that Phoenix just saw some Stalkers for sure. Now the confirmation for Classic. Stalkers are coming. Another shield battery going down, but it's still just the one pylon. Could be a danger. Also, blinking into the main. A distinct possibility. The Sentry does not have any energy. It's pretty useless right now. Classic needs to just hang out by these shield batteries for a bit. I do like this pylon. It's the buy time pylon. We may see a shield battery go down in the main up here to help defend in case those Stalkers do decide to blink up there. Classic trying to get the concave set up here. Oh, a big blink forward from Nice. Not seeing any overcharge on the shield battery, but that's because Nice has enough stalkers to one shot the stalkers of Classic. He's gonna blink forward again, trying to target down the shield battery, but only for a second. And actually that's gonna give Classic the time he needs 
to trade with the Stalkers. Probe's getting pulled, really helping, getting in the way a little bit, drawing some of that Stalker fire. And Nice, I think, messing up that Micro quite a bit. Clicked on a Shield Battery for one shot, but then wasn't target firing the Stalkers every single time. The Probe's eating some of that damage. And suddenly, Classic also has Blink and is target firing beautifully. Blinking back to the Shield Battery, and Nice is just going to tap out. There is no chance against that Blink Micro of Classic in both games. We see Nice getting a bit aggressive, seems to have maybe a good position. What would normally be a good position, I think, for a Protoss. But Classic's Micro, just both games completely outdoing 